Hello, son. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Yeah, now we are here at the True World Company. Pick up there. Hi, hi. So, 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 Ready to go. Hi. Now we are at the iFresh market. Yes, one of your favorite, favorite places. Place. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So let's continue this hero to yeah, make something delicious, right? Yeah, get some uh, vegetables. Okay. All right, hero. We got another. Okay. Yeah. This is all kinds of tuna. Look at this. Yeah, let's get this one. Let's take a look at it. It's uh, only eight dollars a pound. Really cheap. Social distancing. Look how many people there are. This is only one line. Yeah. And there's some people up there in the uh, pharmacy. Tons of people. And we're only here to pick up the other tuna, right? Hopefully, uh, we saw it last time. Hopefully, it's still here. Practice social distance shopping hero. Yeah. Oh, this is Walmart. We're very busy today. Do we need avocado? Wow, five for a dollar. 20 cents each? Hero. No, 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 no. Do you see this? That's 20 cents a piece. Last time we came was 50, what, three cents? Oh my goodness. You find any? I can't believe that, dude. Look at this. Which is uh, not really. How about for a tartar? The tuna tartar? <laughs> yeah, okay. We found thing. tuna. Same thing in like another place. Let's take a look. All right, it's only uh, six seventy nine. This is a little bit more expensive, seven eighty eight. You choose, Hero. One or the other. <laughs> I, 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 I to be honest, both sides, I already see. Yeah. It's not good for the sushi. We'll just try. <laughs> Maybe when you make like a spicy tuna or something. What do you think? Hirzan, how are you? Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Wow, I am excited. Mm. It's been a long time since we had some really amazing yeah. fish in the studio. As you saw earlier, we stopped by an amazing place, True World Foods. Yes. Right? And uh, they supply all the top restaurants in Miami with mm. the finest fish all the way from Japan. Mm. We're going to show you that later. But also, Hiro, we stopped at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For tuna. Uh, we found some tuna. Right, right. Yeah. And also another place that you love to shop, iFresh, mm. which is an Asian supermarket just in North Miami. Mm. So let's go through the products real quick, Hiro. No, this is, uh, we're going to go from the cheapest, okay, to the uh, most expensive. Yeah. This, this is, is iFresh. Yes. For my fresh, it's seven ninety nine a pound. Let's take a look at this. And uh, you saw the quality earlier, it comes frozen. That's what we paid for. This is Walmart, you saw earlier again. This is actually $9.98 a pound. Mm. And this package here was $6.79. Mm. But this is what we're talking about, people. This is from True World Foods. Look at this, top tuna loin. It's actually $12.95 a pound. We have 5.3 pounds here, it's $68.64. Mm. The crown jewel of the ocean hero, Toro. Bluefin tuna toro, 3.7 pounds, $60 a pound. Hero, this 3.7 pounds, something. $222. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to try it. I want to know if it's... I don't see it inside on the box yet. So. Yeah, we haven't opened this yet. All right, let's do an unboxing, Hero. Sure. Let's this one. This is a tuna loin. Now, if you're in Miami and you want to buy something, you can actually... Call them up and purchase something and make some delicious at home. Mm, nice in, in the cylinder ice, you know. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Take a look at that. Oh, really nice, right? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. It's a really good section. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And it has your name on it. Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. All right, guys, $60 a pound. This is going to be probably the most expensive fish we've had in the studio. 
$222 for this. Now, what do you guys think about the color? This is very light. A lot of times when it comes frozen, they inject some carbon dioxide to keep that color. And this color is actually fading away. I see some dark spots in the front here. We don't know how long it's been here for, but um, it's got to be, it's got a sell, sell by date of May the 26th. Mm. So realistically, it's still okay. That's the not the actually sushi great, uh, number one great, you know? Yeah. That's why. All right, take a look at that. All right, it's so what you expect for about $12, $13 a pound. Yeah. Okay. All right, here, I'm really curious to see what this looks like. Okay, this one. <laughs> no. This is it? No, no. <laughs> I was going to say. I'm afraid of you. Wow. $60 a pound. Wow. What's the paper say? This is just a trucking one. Okay. Alright, take a look. You, uh, this is what it looks like. Very, very fatty tuna. It's kind of like frozen, you know. Right, it comes frozen like this. Usually they keep it in a super freezer, in a very, very cold spot. Let me take a look. This is called the best fish that you can have ever in your life. Hero, I'm excited. I know what. It's going to taste like I haven't had this in a long time. Mm. It's a lot of money, two hundred twenty dollars. Yeah. Imagine and this is a wholesale price. Two hundred twenty-two. Imagine you bought this for the restaurant that you have. How much would you have to sell this for? A piece, maybe at least ten, twelve. I ten guess. or twelve dollars, mm. right? And you can get your money back. Okay, now we're going to do a sakudori. First, we're going to take this blood line, the brown spot. And then first I'm gonna do, uh, you can see this. First I'm gonna go for, cut off like this much, right? And then take on the top of the meat, rolling like this. Then after, I'm going to cut this way. Like that. This is top meat, very soft. Then I'm gonna do uh, taking off the skin, skin off. And at the end, actually this one has a fiber in here. You can see the fiber here, and all the way this one's fiber, right? So I'm going to avoid in this one. So I'm going to take it off this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to do, this is kind of triangle shape, uh, this one. So if you cut all the way this way down, this fiber 
come with this meat. So I'm going to avoid it. So from here, go like this. So this one doesn't have a fiber. Okay. Right. And then this meat, also, another very strong fiber right here. And also, all right here. So I'm going to take in off this one. Okay. First, I'm going to from here. Okay, this is all fiber stuff. You're going to use the spoon and then uh, take over the meat and use for tartar or something. And this one now, this fiber, okay. I'm gonna go from here. Okay, this is all fiber. This one pretty much doesn't have a fiber. Okay. Okay. Like this. Actually, pretty much this is a uh, down. So I can use for the sushi and sashimi. Okay, now which one? I guess this would be sushi and sashimi? Um, everything you can use for the sushi and sashimi, but okay. uh, I prefer this is more like a sashimi. Okay. Uh, in, in this case, I'm going to cut sashimi. Um, kind of this way, you know? Okay. So line is coming this way, right? Yeah. So, so you cut, cut it against the grain? Yeah, go, go, go like this way. Okay. So I'm going to use for more sashimi of this one, or okay. tataki, right? And that these parts I'm gonna use for more sushi. I mean the sushi side. Okay. Mm. And this part you'll scrape. I'm gonna scrape. Okay, this one. very good. Okay. for the testing. This is where you can find most of the tuna, like in maybe besides Walmart. You know, this is of course Asian grocery store. I find it also at um, Costco too, this type. A lot of water coming out. Yep, a lot of water content. See how light it is in color? It's a carbon monoxide. So that you cut out the change some parts. Yeah. And the thing about this, it says sell by May 26. Mm. You know, that's another week from now. Today's the 19th. So I don't know about that, what this is going to look like in one week. But of course they don't recommend, you know, how to cook it. Of course it's at grilling and baking. I mean, it's not the number one grade one. Yeah. This one. When you catch this fish, the same as the fresh, right? But uh, the handling is not good. Right. So. Yeah, this two colors are very, very similar, as you guys can see. Mm. So I'm going to cut off the little edge. Okay. Okay, this is uh, coming from the eye fresh. Uh, it's actually Walmart. Well, yeah, warm one. Yeah. And this is I fish. Mm -hmm. A lot of water in there. Mm. A lot of restaurants down here in South Florida they use this frozen tuna. When you eat it, there's no flavor because it's so full of water. It's not the same as getting fresh tuna, like yellowfin or big eye. Okay. nice and the color is different you can see that 
yeah. in the first two. But some people doesn't like this color. Some people like this. Yeah. More like a pink. <laughs> they don't know what they're eating. You know what does I mean? I have no idea. Okay. Yeah, this is a little bit frozen, but uh, it's okay. Let's go. Okay, here's on testing to the tasting part. I mean, check today. Right. Not the daily tasting. Check. Right, right, right. Okay, but for that yeah, we have I a have very a friend. yes. Do very we call expert. Him expert friend or guinea pig? Wadanami. Yeah. <laughs> Arigato. Thank you for Arigato. coming in. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> All right, come and try. Actually, really quick. Some people comment about your hat. You went there for undergrad, right? Yeah. That college. Sunny being up. Right. What year did you graduate? Long time ago. Long time ago. <laughs> you have a master's degree as well, no? What do you? What's your degree in? Uh, international business. Nice. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's give it a try. You are the one chosen one. First one is Walmart. This is yellowfin. Yeah, yellowfin. Uh, you are a brave man. Enjoy. It's okay? Mm. All right. There you go. By the way, he is a sushi chef at Duraku, Lincoln Road. So you have a real sushi chef here tasting it. Okay. This is from iFresh. This was the cheapest one at seven ninety nine a pound. A lot of water content in here, as you guys saw. A lot of restaurants, when you see their tuna, a lot of it looks like this because it's all previously frozen. And a lot of water content. Actually, very little flavor. I don't know. How's this in terms of tuna flavor? Which one do you prefer more? This is better. Really? <laughs> wow, look at that. So this was more money. This is $10 a pound. This was about $8 a pound. This one is Walmart. You said it's better. Okay, that's actually yellowfin. This one, there's no label. We don't know where it's from. We know this is yellow. No, this is big eye. Okay, give this one no, a try. No, that's a flow coming from the seven eleven. <laughs> okay, try this out. Already, the texture looks different. So, big eye tuna. This is sample number three. So, what do you prefer so far? One, two, or three? This is one. Walmart is two, iFresh is three. Okay. Now the last. Now you don't want to try this one, right? You wait too too good for him. My, yeah. my grandpa <laughs> don't eat because 50, 60 years ago, this is a waste. It was a waste. No waste. kidding. Because Japanese people, the uh, changing the you know, how to eat, so like a Western style, so they eat more fat. Okay. So. Now this is most expensive right. and everybody laughs total. Right. Kind of like lobsters. Back then you used to feast it to the prisoners. Now it's a delicacy. Okay, please. Enjoy. Sixty dollars a pound. Is it worth it? This is the best. The best, right? Psycho. Psycho. Here, son, are you going to do a tasting? Yeah, but this is actually a different part, you know. Yeah. So this is a lean tuna, right? This is actually a different fish, different so part. Yeah. More like a berry size, so. Well, we actually have again the cheapest, which is this was the cheapest, but. Walmart, this compared to 
top of the top of the tuna, which is bluefin tuna belly, mm. otherwise known as toro. So, actually, we have uh, three species here. We got bluefin, yellowtail, and big eye. They're really interesting. And this one, we don't know where it's from. Maybe Mystery tuna. Avocor? Avocor, avocor <laughs> maybe, right? Maybe. Maybe it looks like it. All right, Hero, let's try it. Maybe this one. I want to eat it. Walmart. Any wasabi for you? How's a, how's no, a Walmart? I, I, I go without the wasabi. Okay. Yeah, I can tell this is so full of water content. Mm. This is from iFresh? No, too much. Too much water. Too much water, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they add water just to get the weight. This is Big Eye. Mm. And Toro. Toro. Mm. So good, right? Nothing like tuna, tuna belly. It's good. Which is the number one to you? This is number one. Which is the worst one? I mean, worst one is of course this side. You know? Really? So you see Walmart? So Walmart is worse than this one? Or which one? This one has more this, water? This, this two is more, all the same. About but the same? this one has more water. This is kind of dry up. Right. Take a look. Let's try. The bluefin, but this is the fatty, uh, the fatty part. Mm. I'm okay for like, uh, just a few pieces. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot eat a lot. Right. But a bluefin tuna, but I, I like the backside. The backside, right? Mm. Really good. So, Never thought I'd say this, but it's not bad. Walmart tuna is really not bad for sashimi. Let's see what this one is. This is so you can, you can tell when you put the soy sauce. Yeah. Like a spongy, you know? Yeah, very spongy, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree with the Wadanami. I prefer Walmart over this one here. Mm -hmm. This is the big guy. And the meat looks different, you see. Mm. Good? Very good. Mm. But this one, take a look guys. Please try and find some Toro, this color, very nice and pink. You won't go wrong. You have a nice piece of fish, the nicest piece of fish you've ever eaten. Mm. Mm. You can eat a lot of Toro, mm. you like it. Mm, I could have the whole thing. Mm. <laughs> Love it, so good. Well, thank you so much. I thank really you. enjoyed this, you know, I never thought I'd try it myself. Mm. Odenami, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. You are the man. You are the... Yeah. That's psycho. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Heroes sashimi psycho. Psycho. Guys, like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below, share. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, run to your Walmart. Let me yeah. tell you, not bad at all. We <laughs> do it again. Thank you, Hiram. Thank you.